Estonia, Singapore and Estonia are geographically far apart but share many similarities, said President Thaman Shanmugaram on June 25. We think alike. We think as small and open nations who embrace education and innovation as the ways to give our citizens the best opportunities in life, said Mr. Thaman at a banquet hosted in his honour by his Estonian counterpart Ella Keris. Both nations are passionate about working with other countries and making cooperative efforts to strengthen global good, rather than being driven by immediate national interests. He added, We are both uncompromising in our beliefs and advocacy for a rules-based international order, an order that governs trade and investment and the political independence and territorial integrity of all countries. Big and small. Mr. Thaman is in Estonia for a two-day official visit. This is the first such visit to Estonia by a Singapore president. On June 25, he was welcomed by President Ella Keris at the presidential palace. In a private meeting, the leaders discussed the potential for collaboration between both countries, such as by encouraging companies to explore opportunities in each other's markets and using each other as gateways to their respective regions. Mr. Thaman also laid a wreath at the Monument of the War of Independence before meeting with Estonian Prime Minister Kaya Kolas. The National Monument was put up in memory of Estonians who died between 1918 and 1920 during the country's War of Independence. In his speech during the dinner banquet, Mr. Thaman said, we in Singapore have watched Estonia's rapid development with admiration. In less than 35 years, you have achieved so much. He noted that both countries are relatively new friends, having only established relations in 1993, but are quickly making up for lost time. High-level engagements between both nations are becoming more frequent. For instance, Singapore welcomed then-President Kirsty Colulite in 2021 at the Asia Tech X Singapore Summit. In 2023, Ms. Colas also paid a visit to Singapore and inaugurated the Estonian Embassy in Singapore. Mr. Thaman added, as I reflect on my visit to the Monument to the War of Independence this afternoon. I cannot help but be deeply moved by the indomitable spirit of the Estonian people. Your struggle for independence and your journey, since it's not just a chapter in your history. It is an inspiring story of how a nation has thrived by respecting its traditions and its people's sacrifices, by upholding its own democratic values, and by innovating its way into the future. In a separate statement, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs said Mr. Thaman's meetings with both Estonian leaders affirmed growing ties between Singapore and Estonia, including in areas such as education, cybersecurity, and the green transition. They also discussed regional and global developments, such as the role played by both Singapore and Estonia as small states in standing up for the international rule of law and the need to avoid a progressive decoupling of the global economy. Estonia redeclared independence from Soviet rule in 1991. Mr. Thaman and his delegation will have lunch with Estonian Speaker of Parliament Lori Huzar on June 26. He will also visit a cultural centre and have dinner with Estonian Foreign Minister Magus Tsokan. In addition, Mr. Thaman will visit Estonia-based startup companies. These include Horizon Pulp and Paper, a company owned by Singapore's Tolerem Group, which is known for its sustainable operations in paper manufacturing. He returns to Singapore on June 27th.